Hi there, this is K4A, Knowledge for All Educational Videos channel. We are continuing with learning scratch, we are continuing with learning scratch blocks and in this video today we are going to try to learn how and when to use scratch block which is named ask and wait. Okay, uh, before before asking and waiting let's see, uh, yeah, I will first uh, probably delete a couple of those trees because um, I don't need them um, okay three is enough three trees three trees e is enough um, why did I delete them uh, because I don't need them <coughs> currently for um, my game it's uh, too many sprites here and we are not going to use uh, these trees in their random generation at all probably for our game but uh, let's see uh, for the final version who knows anyway let's go to the sensing blocks that's where we are going to find out uh, the block which we are going to explain today and let's see uh, who is going to use it um, I will go to choose a sprite <coughs> Uh, then pick uh, this girl here or maybe yeah this one the fourth fourth one Anina dance uh, I will drag it here on to the right I will probably probably have to resize it a little bit but for now on let's just uh, click and drag this ask uh, what's your name and, and wait block zoom it to see it better that's one of the sensing block light blue group here click on it uh, it's uh, fifth from above click and drag it to your right to your coding window and let's see what it uh, works um, I'm not going to attach it to anything here now just click on it in the coding window let's see what will happen in on the stage okay so the girl uh, is asking me what's your name that was default question and waiting for answer if i type something stupid here anything and click on check nothing happens if i tr uh, type something uh, which makes logic like cat again nothing happens okay that makes sense for me maybe for you some of you still not but uh, let's see uh, what this uh, is doing you can if you remember our previous lesson we had the um, um, looks blocks we have explained all, almost all of them and some of them were say and think okay I don't need think I will only say so I can I will drag and drop say for two seconds and say and I will click on this what's your name to select it you can click it double uh, two times fast to select everything or click once and drag to select it then I will uh, click Control C on my keyboard to copy it or you can double uh, right click it and click copy and I will copy it here to say and say for two seconds just to see what's the difference here okay so we have three kind of similar blocks but again they are different if I click on this save what's your name this will stay forever on the stage okay if I click on this one what's your name and disappears so this is not very similar to this new ask block but these two blocks are kind of similar if I click on this say what's your name and then if I click say or ask, sorry, first was say, second one was ask and wait. Uh, the only difference is that this block is waiting for my answer. For, for now on, as I said, uh, we can type anything here. As long as we click on the checkbox, it will be okay. And that then this block will stop. You can even type some kind of number or maybe some kind of symbols and this will accept anything if we don't make 
some kind of condition in uh, or check which we will do in later videos but for now let's just say that this this block here is asking you and giving you option to answer this block here which we have learned before just told you something sprite character uh, is uh, saying something to you and that's it he cannot wait for your answer he cannot uh, check your uh, your answer you will have to use this one or make it from the scratch uh, but you can combine these ask and this say for example if you don't want uh, uh, for example if you have some kind of um, like this girl for example is first uh, she is saying let um, let me I will use this when clicked then say hello for two seconds like uh, she is um, trying to communicate with cat, with cat first just saying hello to meet her and then asking what's your name so you can combine this two seconds was too short she can say hello my name is Anina <clears throat> hello my name is Anina what's your name then she's uh, waiting for the cat to answer and the answer is near here <laughs> near here uh, yeah here that's what we are going to explain in the next video for now just think think about uh, this ask block as some kind of question which we are going to use to check some kind of conditions answers and so on so then do something else that's it for this uh, video this video is was short for a change thanks for watching and keep on watching my videos in the future bye for now